Five million, six million. Oh, sorry, uh, you uh, interrupt me as I count some money here in the secretary's office of the Royal Liver Building, which is apposite because I want to talk to you about a commercial case, a, a trusts and commercial case, which is of note. And of course, that's Barclays Bank Limited and Quist Close Limited. The citation is 1970 square brackets, appeal cases, page 567. The facts briefly stated are this. Rolls Razor Limited was a, a business which was doing well. So well, in fact, that they were going to make a dividend distribution. As time progressed, however, uh, it transpired that there was insufficient liquidity within Rolls-Razor to make a dividend distribution. So they obtained a loan from Quist Close Investments Limited to make that distribution. In due course, it transpired, in fact, they probably shouldn't have been making distributions of anything at all because the company Rolls-Razor was hopelessly insolvent to the extent that it passed into a member's voluntary liquidation. Once that had occurred, of course, a huge battle for value commences between, on the one hand, different groups of creditors in what we call a waterfall, starting with secured creditors, going down to unsecured creditors. So Quist Close were faced with this hierarchy. And one argument they attempted successfully, of course, in the House of Lords to deploy was this, that no, they shouldn't participate in that hierarchy. Instead, they should be able to establish an equitable interest by virtue of a trust, what we now call a Quist Close trust, to come above that ranking structure so that they don't even participate at all in the assets of the company, the Section 436 of the Insolvency Act 1986 assets. Instead, their interest, by virtue of an equitable device, comes above that group of assets because the money that was lent for that dividend distribution was always segregated for that specific purpose of making that loan, which was never made. Therefore, the purpose hadn't been carried out. The money reverts back to Quist Close. They're happy. Everybody in that, in that list of creditors, most notably the unsecured creditors, are deeply unhappy because that, that value has been taken out but goes back to Quist Close. So have a think about the case. Have a think about Professor Swaddling's collection of essays that he edited on Quist Close. Mull on the commercial deployment of trusts uh, uh, and perhaps think about those as you're walking past the Liver building. Uh, on which point I must continue counting the, the money that was in the safe. Uh, so I bid you goodbye uh, and I'll talk to you again perhaps about Twin Sector and Yardley and how Lord Millet took Quist Close further on in that other House of Lords judgment. So until then, goodbye.